So we are starting the second half of our program. In the second half of the program, we are discussing about uh, smart cities as well as the opportunities for Japan of new energy. First, uh, we will now uh, we will welcome our second keynote speaker, Mr. Takashi Hachoji, the chairman of Hitachi America, who will deliver a speech titled Reconstruction Support and Smart City Strategies. Hitachi is a front runner of smart city strategy, which is starting to be one of the key concepts in building a safer, more disaster resilient Japan. His speech will deepen our understanding of how smart city strategy will work. Please uh, come to the stage, Mr. Hachoji. Uh, thank you, Sakurai san, for a uh, very uh, kind introduction. And uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Dr. Takashi Hachoji. I'm a chairman of uh, Hitachi America Limited. Uh, this is a great opportunity for me uh, to share Hitachi's role in the uh, reconstruction of Japan because it relates specifically to our smart city strategies. The recovery effort for Japan following the Great East Japan earthquake represents a critical period. Throughout my presentation today, I'll share with you several examples of how Hitachi is trying to uh, contribute to the, uh, this recovery, deconstruction, and our expertise in smart city strategy. Uh, first, I'd like to review the recovery status. The first, the damage to the uh, buildings and the infrastructures was in excess, in excess of uh, 212 billion dollars. As I mentioned, highways, high-speed railways, all have been uh, recovered since the end of April 2011. However, major port births are only at 80% of uh, recovery rate. Secondly, international assistance. International assistance has been very helpful to the recovery of Japan. More than 160 countries and 40 international organizations offered assistance to Japan. Especially, United States cooperation and assistance was the most important due to the Operation Tomodachi. United States sent 24,000 personnel, 190 aircraft, and 24 naval ships, including aircraft carriers, USS Ronald Reagan, to Japan. Without United States assistance, recovery from Great East Japan earthquake would have been delayed. Thank you again for your heartful assistance. Economic growth has been already recovered. Also, mining and manufacturing production index was 194.4. Last April, that figure was 84.5. By the way, we have a very good news. Tourism, tourism has rebounded with overseas visitors to Japan back to normal to pre-disaster level. The business activities, including supply chain, has recovered completely by the end of May 2011. In terms of uh, financial result for the uh, last fiscal year, 2011, despite the tremendous impact of earthquake and unexpected floods in Thailand, between 2 to 3 percent decline in revenue and a 20 percent impact on operating income was evident for Hitachi. But we achieved the record profit in fiscal 2011. All Japanese companies surely made every possible effort to make a full recovery. Okay. Uh, 
The second year, the Japanese government plan for reconstruction has been made public. Uh, first year, strong commitment from Japanese government for $225 billion budget to be spent on public project for recovery and reconstruction. Secondly, tax exemptions for special zone business creation for both Japan and overseas companies alike. It is for five years of period. Thirdly, a feeding tariff and incentive for long-term contracts for renewable energy producers has been introduced. I understand that this topic will be more deeply discussed following my presentation. The construction plan from private side is also evident. Private sector participation is critically important from a construction perspective. An important entity in this area is Keidande, Japanese Business Federation, with a strong focus on the first one is the establishment of energy management systems, and secondly, the establishment of resilient. Resilient means, in this case, tough and flexible information telecommunication system structure. Those are included among Keidan Lens proposal as Japan as an innovation-oriented nation made public in this April. And the two forces, these two forces, as a major component of a smart city of our interest. Another plan from the uh, private sector is in progress now. An important focus by Kedan Den is also the uh, future city model projects. Eleven cities have been selected, including many cities in the Tokyo region. This plan was discussed before Great East Japan earthquake, and the construction has been added as a big, very big factor to the plant currently. Hitachi Limited was born in Hitachi City. Hitachi City is at the center of East Japan and close to Tohoku area and has been devastated by earthquake seriously. We are heavily involved in the Hitachi Industrial Small City Project. The core areas in original plan were energy, education, and citizen care. But after Great East Japan earthquake, recovery and reconstruction planning has been added to the original plan of the project. We should pay much bigger attention to a rich potential in Tohoku areas. Tohoku region has a long history of research and development center, especially in the electric and telecommunication field. Many excellent institutions have enormous intellectual assets and human resources. For example, Tohoku University achieved the initial development of antenna for uh, TV broadcasting, magnetron for uh, electric range, and uh, optical fiber communication technologies. We are committed to reconstruction of the Tohoku region, which represents an epicenter for uh, research and development. We should work together to build new smart city. As a social infrastructure focused company, in our term, social innovation company, Hitachi understands the problems and the challenges of the Tohoku region and will continue to work with local government, local communities, and local businesses to help to rebuild and improve society by small city initiatives. And by the way, what is smart city? A 
smart city can be defined as an environment, environmentally conscious city that uses information and telecommunication to utilize energy, transportation, water, and other resources. As you can see from this slide, this provides a detailed view of several aspects that comprise a smart city. At the same time, we have to consider how to make the best coordination with the people who actually use, I should say, living in this infrastructure. The Great East Japan earthquake exposed these issues. Harmonious combination between the people and the infrastructure should be cultivated. The solution to this issue will lead to the creation and the further development of smart cities. Our focus and expertise includes energy, transportation, water, and information telecommunication. In addition, as a foundation is advanced IT system, which we have deep expertise for contributing to the reconstruction of Japan. Hitachi has been fully involved in social infrastructure since its foundation in 1910. Our strategy combines our deep business portfolio expertise into smart city. We are focused on social infrastructure and information and telecommunication businesses, something we call the social innovation business. There, we have three components. The first one, is the industrial transportation and urban development systems. The second one, information and telecommunication systems. The third one is power systems. We have expertise and knowledge in these fields. How we can make our potential a reality? Our social innovation business embraces the common goals and the values with local society. By the sea and nature, this allows us to contribute to Japan's reconstruction and compete in the smart city business. In order to attain that goal, we organized infrastructure systems group in this April to compete with global competitors in the fast changing social infrastructure field, which offers very big business opportunities in smart city, water treatment and transportation. Actually, this group is the largest business group in Hitachi because smart city is one of the most important business areas for us. In order to contribute to the reconstruction based upon the viewpoint of society and citizen, We have done many extensive survey in an emergency evacuation area in Tohoku area. Hitachi is already participating in a number of uh, smart city projects overseas. We are deeply rooted in the global footprint as you can see in this slide, we contribute to many pioneering projects in, in many countries worldwide. Spain, India, China, United States, and Japan, to mention just a few in this slide. We are participating mainly four types, four types of the project. Uh, some of Hitachi's uh, pilot project in these uh, four tribes. First right, first right uh, depicts Rokashomura smart grid demonstration. This is an uh, energy plus IT type of project. Our smart grid deployment in Tohoku began well before the Great East Japan earthquake, which reflects our commitment to the smart city concept. We develop power control 
center, solar power generation system, and advanced metering infrastructure. Also, we work on beliefs in partnering with quality partners in this project to develop smart house together with the Toyota and Panasonic, to name a few. Second example is combining transportation with information and telecommunication. We are, we are working in Okinawa Prefecture by uh, utilizing rental electric vehicles and rapid charging station, which we began in February 2011 by installing charging spots. This project is targeting 100 rapid charging stations and 6,000 rental electric vehicles in the year of 2020. The next one, in the United States, this is our work in combining energy transportation with information and telecommunication. This project is on Maui Island in the state of Hawaii. The project is based on the Japan-US Green Energy Technologies Action Plan, which was agreed to following the Japan-US Head of State Summit held in the year 2009. We are working on a Hawaiian tourism project with severe ally uh, several alliance uh, partners relating to uh, deployment of solar power generation and EVs that began in 2011. Hawaii has already 15% uh, renewable energy and targeting a goal of 40% in 2030. We are leading the information control platform and solar power generation system. The last, not but certainly not the least example, is Hitachi's work combining water and IT and so forth. We are working with Delhi and City, China, to provide intelligent water system, sewage treatment system, and desalination systems that began in November 2011. We intend to create smart cities by making effective use of water resources and uh, providing uh, efficient water infrastructure. During the course of uh, conducting smart city project just we mentioned, we have accumulated some innovative and practical ideas. The first one is big data. Big data and the application of the state of the art information technology in telecommunication technologies in a very important and growing area for us to make Smart City a reliable project. We are evaluating the huge collection of real-time data and providing countermeasures for systems operations by analyzing and simulating them. Simply, if we detect a grid failure, we can quickly generate an intermediate real-time data collection, followed by simulation and guiding kinds of measures. This is a cycle of using big data. That is a new area to make the best use of information telecommunication in developing a smart city. Collaboration. Collaboration is a crucial strategy. As this slide depicts, we collaborate and work with many partners on several smart city and smart grid projects, not only in Japan, but many cases in overseas uh, projects. The challenge of bringing together the diverse know-how and technologies of all the participating companies to establish a Japanese smart city model at Kashiwa no Ha campus city in Chiba prefecture is a good example Mitsui Fudosan Company Limited, that's a real estate company, and uh, it's a major partner together with uh, Kashima City and the University of Tokyo. We are developing AEMS, Area Energy Management Systems, in this project. Another example is the Silver 
spring networks in Hawaiian smart grid demonstration project. This alliance will strengthen and expand the relationships. For your information, I'd like to uh, introduce the opinions from Hitachi and the Silver Springs uh, Networks executives on this collaboration. And the company president in the uh, infrastructure systems group in Hitachi mentioned on this project. Okay. We have strengths in both the power systems and information system and telecommunication systems field and has leveraged this advantage to develop smart grid systems. We are convinced that we can promote our smart grid business and create new offerings for utilities globally with the Silver Springs Networks industry leading brand and product lineup and extensive uh, track record. And on the other hand, Silver, Silver Springs uh, CEO mentioned on this uh, collaboration. Hitachi's technical and market leadership and joint collaboration will bolster offerings not only in Japan, but will expand both companies' smart grid global foot, uh, footprint. This is a very good example. In this way, we plan to develop a smart city teaming with uh, real estate uh, developers, construction companies, manufacturers, building firms, financial organizations, research firms, and other businesses, domestics and abroad. Hitachi is also developing uh, renewable energy. We, are, we also have a deep expertise in renewable power generation. We build a mega solar system, which is uh, transmission and distribution friendly by using sophisticated power conditioning system. Through our work in Smart City Project, we recognize the importance of international standardization of smart city indicators because there should be some stiff measurement standard and metrics of smart cities. They should be based on three primary areas. First one, on the uh, urban infrastructure like energy, water, mobility, and others. The secondary, performance like quality, sustainability, eco-consciousness, and so on. The thirdly, smartness as key indicators. Our implementation of indicators like, like them allows us to pinpoint important factors associated with, with smart cities and acceleration and diffusion of smart cities. Finally, finally, almost 600 days have already passed since Great East Japan earthquakes devastated in Japan, devastated Japan. Smart City will be able to contribute much to Hoku, to uh, Tofu area. 